So quarterbacks, let's just quickly go over some options. If you need one, Jared Goff is the first one to check for. He's available in 50% of leagues. So check, because he finishes the QB4 last week versus the Jaguars. And now he gets that same Vikings team that just gave up 369 passing yards to Mike White and the Jets. So as we've hammered on, it's a very good matchup for opposing quarterbacks. If you can get Jared Goff, and interestingly, now he's got DJ Chark available, which is a main waiver wire target for me as well. DeAndre Swift looks like he's back to full speed, back fully acclimated into this offense. Amonra St. Brown is a, is a sun god. Uh, he, he's accurately named. And then uh, you still got Jamal Williams there, who's going to punch him in, still leads the league in rushing touchdowns. And Jamison Williams as a wild card. And don't forget Josh Reynolds, right? So this team is fine. The Minnesota defense is horrible, which is why I don't think they're going to go very far in the postseason. I think they're going to get a little bit exposed like they did versus the Cowboys, but that's a betting thing, not a fantasy thing. For fantasy, all you need to know is the quarterback is facing Minnesota and they're a quarterback that has a good arm and good weapons. You fire them up. Goffs available in 50% of leagues. I'll add quickly to that. I think the Lions team that we see how they're playing now and how they kind of did in the beginning of the season in terms of fantasy in terms of offensive production is probably closer to what they really are as a team. Whatever they have going on offense right now, and Jared Goff is a guy that's playing with a chip on his shoulder. Jared Goff um, was a guy that everyone said that Sean McVay kind of telegraphed his passes, but he's looking like a legitimately, you know, upper echelon quarterback oh, right now. Sean so. McVay would would kill to have Jared Goff back oh, yeah. right now with the situation the Rams are in. And the Detroit Lions have won four of the last five. And the one that they lost was the nail biter on Thanksgiving Day that they almost won 